Maybe you have a driver whose response includes peaks and creates a harsh sound in reality. The first tip to reduce them is to use passive crossover networks or passive filters. Parallel notch filters. Before doing anything, we need to know the role of each part in this filter. Disconnect R for now. The horizontal line is the frequency in hertz and the vertical is the sound pressure level in dB. If we increase the L value while C is fixed, the valley will be deeper and the filter width or bandwidth will be wider, so the L value plays an effective role in peak reduction. Don't use values under 0.1 for L. Now reset the L value and increase C. As can be seen, the role of C in reduction is not effective enough, but its value determines the frequency at which we want to reduce the peak. So far, we can say the L value adjusts the valley depth and the filter width, and the C value determines the valley frequency. Suppose we make a really deep filter and need to reduce its depth. Now, we connect R to see what it can do. The higher the R, the deeper the valley is, and in reverse. The design process is really easy and based on a simple formula. If a capacitor and an inductor are in parallel, the circuit current will be minimum at a specific frequency called resonance frequency. The deep valley in the frequency response is due to this effect. Its formula is L is the inductance in Henry's and C is capacitance in farads. We explain the design process with a practical example. Dayton Audio RS150P4A is a good driver for our goal. Download its files, decompress and import them into VitaWixCAD like this. VitaWixCAD link is available in the description. As you can see, a sharp peak has been occurred at 5500 Hz, so F is 5500 Hz. As I said, don't use values less than 0.1 for L. Set L at 0.1. The only unknown value is C. Based on this formula, C is equal to Open ZMA from the downloaded folder. This is the impedance response of the driver. Now create an Excel file and enter all the data. After creating this file, you don't have to calculate C every time. As a summary, define a value for L, enter F, and C is calculated automatically. That's all. If you've determined a large value for L and the reduction in frequency response is larger than you want, try a lower value of L. Now enter the values in VitaWixCAD. As can be seen, the valley frequency is 5500 Hz. The depth of the valley is high and should be reduced by the resistor value. Try different values to adjust the depth. Twenty is a large value for R. Let's try a smaller value like ten. You can short circuit the inductor and compare the original response of the driver with the response of the filter. The ideal frequency response shape is a flat line, and our design filter provides a close result to our target. Although the set information should be enough to design your desired filter, let's dive into the math of the filter a bit. The filter bandwidth is obtained by this formula. Q is the quality factor of the circuit. The higher the L, the wider the bandwidth of the filter is, and the sharper the valley, and you can see the effective role of L in this relationship. F1 and F2 are the lower and higher minus 3 dB frequencies. It means the sound pressure level drops by 3 dB at these frequencies. They are obtained by these formulas. Now enter all the values in these formulas to get all the information. If you like the video, like it and share it with your friends. Your comments help us make better videos in the future.
Thanks for watching.